welcome back to my channel Gababete. So it is 9am on Sunday morning and I woke up with the idea for this video. As you can see from the title, I'm going to be dining out as a type 1 diabetic celiac for every meal today. And I think this video is really important to show people that it is possible to dine out with type 1 diabetes and celiac disease. You know, in the diabetes sense, when you're newly diagnosed, especially the thought of injecting, carb counting, taking your blood sugar in front of people can be very daunting. And in terms of celiac disease, especially if you're newly diagnosed, going out to eat in a place, putting your trust in them that the food is gluten-free and there's no cross-contamination and that you'll enjoy it and not be sick can be very fearful too that's why I decided to make this video today plus I get to eat out for every meal so I'm like really happy about that so we'll be having breakfast lunch and dinner out and maybe a snack if I find any snacks but it's Sunday morning now it's 9 a.m. it's time to go and get some breakfast the sugar from the freestyle libra is in the range of six so that's really really good to start off with so I'm really happy seems like a really nice day outside so let's go and get some breakfast so before breakfast arrived i took my blood sugar and it was 5.9 which was perfect i got my fias pen ready but i didn't pre-bolus because i wasn't sure on the carb count and i wanted to see how the food looked first I got a hot chocolate and it honestly looked really, really good. I love the little design they put on it. And this is my food. It's banana bread bowl. So there's banana bread, soy yogurt, banana, strawberries, and maple syrup and blueberries. I had to estimate the carbs and I think I took around seven units and everything was gluten-free and it was also vegan too. Hey everyone. So that was breakfast, which was so, so good. That was the banana bread bowl, which is gluten-free and vegan as well, which is great. Like fruit and peanut butter and soy yogurt. I think my favorite part is actually the peanut butter with like a strawberry and the banana bread it tastes like really good that combo together maybe just all of it to be honest now lunchtime so we're gonna go out and get some lunch blood sugar i did go low after i think i just took too much insulin like it was hard like i had to guess the amount of carbs and i think i just overestimated because i didn't want to go high also it's really sunny as well so i'm not sure if the weather is playing a part in my hypo as well so i did go low but my blood sugar is normal now and i'll check again once we get there for food but it is time to go and get some gluten-free lunch. I decided to meet some friends at Wagamama's for lunch. And if you don't know what Wagamama is, it's basically Asian-inspired Japanese cuisine. They have a really extensive non-gluten menu. And what's really good is they actually write gluten-free on your menu so that the waiter knows while you're there. And they only have managers take your order if you have an allergy so that it's put into the kitchen correctly and all the right methods are taken to prevent any cross-contamination. I decided to go for the grilled chicken ramen. Now, in terms of counting carbohydrates for the type 1 diabetes, this is often difficult because the menus don't say, but you can look it up online for Wagamama. So that's where I got the carbohydrate count and I was able to work out how much insulin to take. All of the food was really, really, really good and I was really happy with it and I felt fine after in terms of gluten-freeness. Then we decided to go for a drink because it was so sunny. I just got a Diet Coke. Obviously, I have to get diet drinks because they're sugar-free and it doesn't raise my blood sugar. So I was happy out for lunch. So that was Wagamama's that you saw there and I'm really happy with what I went for. I didn't want something like really, really filling, especially if I'm getting food later. So the grilled chicken ramen bowl and then I can't even remember the name of like the lettuce wraps with the spicy chicken in them. Really, really good and perfect. That was lunch. Um, my blood sugar has been really good since. You can see it on the graph. It said I was going low, but when I checked on my real monitor, it was only four. So I didn't do anything and it's kind of gone back up to eight since that. So that's really good. But it is time to go and get some dinner and I've had a really good day of eating out so far. Everything's been really good in terms of gluten-free, no cross-contamination and the place is being really aware and the blood sugars have been all right too. So I'm looking forward to dinner. For dinner, I went to Weatherspoons, which is actually an English pub and I was really, really surprised. They actually had this tablet on the wall with all the allergen and nutritional information, which made my life so much easier. I could take the allergen to gluten and cereals and I could go through the menu and see what I could have. And as you can see, if you even take pizza, it's saying like you can have the toppings, but the bases aren't gluten-free. So it was really, really thorough and what I could have so I decided to go for halloumi's nachos and then a baked potato and you can see here that it actually tells you the carbohydrates as well I have it for working out how much insulin to take which made my life so much easier really good I didn't have to go looking at menus I didn't have to go looking online I could just go over to that little tablet and work out how much food I needed hey everyone so that was dinner and it was really really good and it is actually the next morning now when I'm filming this and I felt really really good I was really really surprised that Weatherspoons had that like allergy menu thing that you could scroll through that was so helpful the sugars did go a little bit high but that's because like the halloumis are fried and it's like nachos as well so 
it was okay in the end they're back down to normal now the next day it's at 7.9 now which is really good well, I had a really good time actually eating out for every meal and um, I won't be doing that though for a while again because expensive and also I just felt so stuffed after it all so I was really really stuffed but I just wanted to show you that it is possible to go out and dine out for literally every meal breakfast lunch dinner as a celiac and be able to get the right food that you want and not be glutened and be able to be in places that know about celiac disease and cross-contamination and also from a diabetes point of view like you see me I go to the restaurants I openly do my finger prick and inject and I manage to carb count okay and get the nutritional info most of the time so i just wanted to show you that it is possible as a type 1 diabetic and celiac to dine out for 24 hours so i really hope you liked this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up comment down below your favorite part of the video and if you're new here please consider subscribing to the channel really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you all in the next video